I'll say uh, just a few words. I think I started from the very beginning by uh, uh, acknowledging the, the enormity and the urgency of the challenges that are ahead of us. I, uh, you know, 20 years is a great achievement, but it's, uh, uh, that's about it. You know, this is, it's really not the time to rest on our laurels. I'm talking about JPAL, I'm talking about every single one of you here, Pratam, Save the Children, Brack. Uh, everyone here, IPA, we've, you know, you have uh, gone a long way, but it's a very small uh, part of the way. And some days, uh, it really feels that the way is getting longer just as we are traveling on it. Um, just as uh, uh, things in, in Kenya were improving for the elephants because of the amazing work uh, uh, between the community and uh, uh, preventing the poaching, climate change arrives and threw the baby elephants into, uh, into deep wells. Just as uh, Bangladesh is becoming a middle-income country, Climate change is, is threatening to engulf a good part of it underwater and, and bring uh, uh, millions of people to the cities that are not uh, uh, ready to welcome them. Uh, just as uh, children, uh, just as uh, many organizations like Prime are doing a great work to help children around the world, uh, the our leaders of the world, of all stripe of the world, feels that the children can be used as uh, shields or, or um, pawn into the great game uh, of politics that are way uh, above their head and in which, as someone pointed out, um, they have no voice. Um, there is so much to be done. Many people say it came in, with, uh, in many of the sessions, the, the key importance of working with children, uh, of you know, starting, you know, giving children the, the hope and, uh, and uh, the capability to realize the potential that they, that they have. And that's uh, an enormous uh, challenge and one in which uh, there are pretty strong headwinds. But, you know, we don't let, someone said, I'm quoting, but I'm just adding a we. The, it says, don't get the enormity of the challenge discourage you. And I would say we, in this room, are the room where it happens. Uh, we don't let the enormity of the challenge discourage us. Uh, we have heard amazing story of success against uh, all odds. Uh, uh, one, uh, uh, you know, uh, from one or two uh, white uh, rhino, we are going to get many more, hopefully, roaming the plains. Uh, from, uh, from the debris of COVID uh, emerged, uh, for example, a new uh, understanding of the importance to meet children where they are in education, and somehow that in itself is bringing good things. Um, from uh, one uh, uh, a daring program in Bangladesh, uh, a good fraction, an important fraction of the world's poorest people will be covered, are covered, and will be covered in the next few years by a program that really changed their life. And each of these have been in the field in looking at them. Each of these is such an amazing story of individual success. So as organizations here, we've had, there have been successes. And uh, that's because we do not take no for an answer. I think at the heart of these stories, of course, there is evaluation because this is JPAL. We invited friends of JPAL and they are being polite. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, deeper than that, and perhaps, uh, perhaps uh, at the basis of, of all, um, I, I, and through the conversation of the morning, and I hope through our collective work, is the deep belief that. Uh, People in poverty are not the problem. They have problems, but they are the solution. And in them lie the solution. We've heard it so many times. And the job is really to make this solution emerge. And then some of them will work, and some of them will not work, and we'll evaluate and uh, work with them to evaluate and make, uh, uh, you know, take whatever works to greater scales. Uh, so this is, of course, is a kind of a practical way of looking at it, practical and pragmatic, because that's where, you know, where are you going to find a solution uh, if not with the people who have uh, the prime first-order experience of the problems? I think this was very clear in Marianne's work, is that 
okay, the problem of not waking up in school, you might think it's an alarm clock, but there are these other things that people can, can tell you. So that's just practical. That's kind of where we'll find the problem. But beyond practical, it's also, I think, a moral imperative. Kelsey started by saying she encountered, as a child, moral ambiguity. It's full, it's everywhere around us. One that is not on ambiguity, the moral imperative of uh, being thy neighbor's keeper, I think is one that we uh, all uh, ascribe to. It's like, and how would you do that without respecting the fundamental dignity of the people? Uh, that we are, uh, we have the privilege to be working with. So that I think is going to be a, a central piece of it. Has been, but needs to continue. And whenever we forget, because we are in a hurry or something or the other, uh, we need to go back to that. Uh, go back to that uh, sense of what, why, and how we are doing this work. And then the the next thing is that I heard going through the team is is that of of patience. Uh, it comes in uh, Stelina and Gifty stories of coaxing people to talk to them and being patient. Uh, and then it talks, uh, it came beautifully in Abhijit Chowdhury's uh, uh, crouching tiger uh, attitude uh, to the policymaker, uh, Lilo. Uh, there'll be a moment of weakness where you can <laughs> pounce on them <laughs> and get your program done. That, I must say, um, Sounds very familiar. Uh, <laughs> um, I want to end with uh, two uh, uh, direct uh, quotes uh, to uh, uh, keep us sustained uh, through uh, uh, the next many years. Uh, the first one is that if your projects are not failing, you're not taking enough risks. And the second one is uh, from the DJ, if you want to save the world, why don't you change yourself first? And I think I'll amend it just a little bit because it came up in so many ways. If you want to change the world, prepare that the world is going to change you. And I think we saw that we, with our you know, partner kindly saying the encountered with J-PAL changed them. But obviously, uh, J-PAL has encountered with them changed them even more. And the encounter of every individual involved in this project uh, uh, has uh, uh, changed, uh, changed them. So. Uh, go ahead and save the world, continue to save it. It can be saved, and it's going to save you before you succeed saving it. Thank you so much. <laughs>